It's their sense of place, and they're determined not to be displaced or replaced. When you're a minority, one of the things that happens is the majority can tell you you're not really very valuable culturally because you are so different from the majority culture. And until you adopt the majority culture, your culture is, doesn't count. So this is a way of saying our culture does count. We have some pride in what we are and where we came from. La producción, la loma, la cala, tipi, la yarda, all were barrios, Latino barrios. Places like this, which are the only place that anyone could go for entertainment in Spanish. And this would become kind of the focal point of Spanish entertainment in the North Side. And it was the heyday of uh, Mexican cinema. It was exciting when they brought in movie stars and mariachis from Mexico. Maria Felix, Dolores del Rio, Jorge Negrete, Pedro Infante. On the west side of Maine, the whites lived, and on the east side, the Los Mexicanos. It was racist. It was white on this side, Hispanic on this side. Who are they? You know, that's a, that's a big question, because in fact, they're not Mexican, because they don't live in Mexico. As we became more Americanized, we lost more of our culture. The majority in the U.S. were telling them, well, you're not American either because your skin's too dark, or you don't have perfect English, or you know, your hair is like this, or you, you, know, you speak with an accent, or whatever. In the early 40s, during the war, the city council on its own just zoned everything out here, K-heavy industrial, which means that the houses were all sitting on industrial property without asking the people, they just did it. A lot of drugs, druggy haven, I called it. It was sort of slummish. You know, a lot of sadness and despair as far as, far as no advancement in the same kind of jobs with most of these people. Renovating the theater, bringing it back to life. Now we're being recognized by city leadership. Now as the, the arts people in this city now know who we are. We're, we're getting awards all the time. As we were trying to attract new companies to Fort Worth and Tarrant County, the people that were looking at it says, does everyone have a place in this community? You know, is everyone welcome? Yes, they are. Let me show you why. I don't think the kids would understand now uh, what we had back then. Saturday night going to the movies, and we, we sort of lost touch of our past. The thing that they're focusing on is, is to provide an outlet for young students. We do a lot of off-site training in school plays that we take to schools, and we got a, we got a touring company. We built our own theater group. Not only how do we respect it, but not isolate it. How do we make the new that, that happens in Fort Worth reflect what the old was. 